Hey guys, welcome to All Outdoors. Thanks for stopping by. We're out here in southern Ontario at Bushcraft Cambridge's camp. Chris here invited me out for the night. We're gonna, as Chris says, sit around the fire telling lies. Say hi, Chris. Hey everybody. Al and I uh, met a little while ago online, um, talking about knives and this and that, all the, uh, the usual gab. And uh, met a few times for coffee and uh, decided to try and uh, uh, get out for a night. So this is our opportunity. Alright guys, we'll get back to you soon. We're going to finish setting up camping now. Okay guys, you get to witness Al trying to set up a hammock for the first time. With the help of Chris, of course. <laughs> We're just going to be using Al's, uh, or uh, my hammock and my uh, under quilts it's gonna be a, uh, a snug pack under quilt boosted with a Costco down throw blanket under quilt I think that's closer to what we want. It already looks better. Like you see the ridge line's already tight. Yeah. So just make sure that this is tight. Cause it's like a constrictor style. So yeah. like uh, the tighter you pull on, it's like the Chinese finger puzzle. Yep. The tighter you pull on it, the, the harder it gets. Okay. Make sure these are good. The hammock generally you want uh, your head to be a little bit lower than what your legs are and then that way uh, like just a little bit because otherwise you end up uh, sliding down into your hammock and you'll end up yeah, all curled up in a ball on the bottom yeah and uh, blood will rush to your head <laughs> yeah we can probably cinch it up a little bit more to oh yeah it. we'll pull her up a little more no problem. That is pretty comfortable. <laughs> yeah, you hold, basically hold it here, and then pull this end. So you can see where, where it comes through itself. Yeah. So you just basically kind of pull back there, and it should, yep, yeah, there you go. And then we gotta milk this part here, pull this part down a little bit. And then that'll tighten it up over top of it. And then that just keeps tension on it so that this can't loosen up. Ow. Beauty. It's gonna have a little bit of flex because of the, uh, the tree yeah. up so high and have a real large diameter tree. So. Yeah. <laughs> Give her a shot anyway. Uh, hold me fat butt. Oh yeah. If it holds me, it'll hold you. <laughs> Just always make sure that when you're getting in, that you're not sitting in between the hammock. Okay. Or else you'll end up on the ground. <laughs> and when you when you pop in, just make sure your butt lands right in the middle. Okay. Trying to sit back, just sit straight down. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so if that was me, I would put my head at, at that end, and then your feet at this end, and then your head in one corner and your feet in the opposite corner. Right. And you'll get a nice flat lay that way. Because this is like a 12 foot long hammock, which is like a, around a foot longer than your normal yeah. run of the mill hammock. And I find that length is the major factor in comfort with a hammock. Okay. So you can go as wide as you want, but if you don't have the length, you'll always end up with like pressure at your knees, yeah. which is no good. 
comfy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you may end up adjusting it a little bit again, like once everything <laughs> all stretches out a little bit. Because I believe this is like a nylon, I'm not, or a polyester, I'm not sure. But I've never really had a problem with it stretching. Because originally I bought this to make a tarp. Okay. And then uh, it ended up, when I was going to cut it in half and then sew it together, it was going to be too short. So I just hung on to the material. And made it. Yeah. And I got it. Yeah, and I think I paid like five bucks for the material. Huh. So I mean, like, uh, hammocks are pretty cheap to make if you want to make. <laughs> Ka ching on the budget. <laughs> yeah, like oh. Lens Mill Store. Yeah. Um, they, like, uh, say if you go in on, like, Halloween. Um, they'll have like deals where it'll be like 50% off of uh, black or orange fabric. Yeah. So any any fabric. So you go for like the the ultralight nylon stuff, and you get it for like four bucks a yard. Yeah. That's pretty so much it. What? The most we expensive put thing. A tarp over top type thing. Or? Yeah, we can either run a ridge line from the from the two trees, and then that way it'll be independent of the hammock, so that when you swing, the tarp doesn't swing with you. Yeah. Or you can go and run it right over the ridge line, and then with bungee cords to the ground, and then the tarp will sway a little bit with you. Okay. But I find, like especially in the weather that we've got, I like to have the tarp up a little higher, so yeah, you got a little more airflow, air and yeah, you don't feel quite so stuffy. But yeah, we got a ridge line. We can run that up. Fire up the tarp. Here's my bed for the night, people. <laughs> <laughs>